going to take a start of next tense that is past continuous tense. This is very easy tense, past continuous Mere tense, okay? Past continuous tense. This is your tense which we will discuss today. And recognition is very important. How to recognize this type of sentence? Recognition. We have to focus on the recognition. The sentence will be ended. The sentence will be ended. और रहा था रही थी रहे थे एटसेट्रा इन उर्दू सो दिस इज द रिकॉग्निशन इजी रिकॉग्निशन वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द सेंटेंस दैट फ्रॉम विच टेंस इट इज बिलोंगिंग द सेंटेंस विल बी एंडेड ऑन रहा था रही थी रहे थे ओके Now what will be the structure? <coughs> structure we are going to discuss now structure. In structure we will say that what use of was and were. Now where we will use according to our need. If the subject is singular we will use was. If the subject is plural we will use were. Was and were plus first form of form of verb with the addition of ing first form of verb with the addition of ing yahan stop kare plus first form of verb with the addition of ing and what we will do this is the simple sentence structure definitely for making the sentence negative we will use what not after was and were and if we are making sentence interrogative then what we will do we will use was and were in the start of the sentence and in the end of the sentence we will use question mark so here we will discuss about the again positive simple positive statement how can we make they were they were taking टी ओके सो हेयर दे वी हैव यूज सो वर बिकॉज सब्जेक्ट इज प्लूरल सो वर यू सिलेक्ट एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ दिस डे विद एडिशन ऑफ आई एन जी टेकिंग टी सो दिस इज योर सब्जेक्ट दिस इज योर वर्क एंड दिस इज योर वॉट ऑब्जेक्ट Now let's discuss about the negative sentence. Negative. How can we make this sentence into negative? They were not, as we have decided that we will use what addition of only not. They were not taking tea. Okay. This is negative sentence. Then what about the interrogative? How can you make this sentence into Interrogative. How can you convert it into a questioning sentence? Interrogative sentence. We will take what were in the start. We will use were. Observe the verb. <coughs> were they taking tea? So here we will use question mark at the end of this statement. So what will be the passive sentence? As we have decided, just we have to change the positions of the words. Okay, subject will become object, object will become subject. So here, T. Here we have used what what because the subject was plural, but T is singular subject. So we will select what was. T was. According to the need of the subject, we will select the auxiliary verb. T was what? If there is ing form, okay, then what we will do? We will use always dm because in passive sentence we are allowed to use third form of verb only. No matter the sentence is belonging to past tense, 
present tense, future tense, but you people will use one third form of verb. Always. So, passive sentence, how can we make? T was being. Okay, we have solved the matter of ING. Now, what about, about this take? As we are allowed to use third form of verb. Take to taken. Okay? T was being taken by them. Is it clear? Now, whenever there is continuity of verb, then we will use what in passive sentence? We will use being. Okay? Then take will be converted into third form of verb. So this is your subject now. This is your complete verb and that is your object. We have just changed the places of subject and object. Thank you very much. This was all about up to the topic.